This is something I picked up today in Poundland, the Signalex optical mouse. So this is a, a one pound mouse. Um, and I thought I would take it apart, see what you get inside a, a one pound optical mouse. Uh, the, the optical mouse was invented at the end of the 90s. I think Microsoft were the first people to release an optical mouse. And before that, a mouse had a, a moving wheel. So the wheel actually, or a ball, made contact with the surface and it used that to detect the movement. And with the optical mouse, what it does, it actually takes a couple of photographs of the surface while it's moving. And then the, a very powerful processor works out the difference between the two photographs and that's how it detects uh, which which way the mouse has moved and, and how far. So they're really quite, um, you know, they're quite sophisticated and they have quite powerful processors built in. And it's really quite surprising that you can now build one for a pound. Okay, so that's working as a mouse. You can see that the LED's on under here. And so I'll have to figure out how to get this fella open. Oh dear, just broke a clip off there. Up this end we have a couple of micro switches. So these are the mouse buttons. And we've got the wheel there. That feels really bad actually. And the wheel, so on this side you can see it's activating a little PCB mounted switch and on the other side we've got some kind of rotary encoder there. That's counting the, the movement. You can see that there are some uh, places on the circuit board which are not populated. So we've got a resistor and an LED that are missing here. So perhaps this is a, there's another model that has the, so perhaps there's another model that has a, a transparent top where the LED can shine through. And here we've got the main sensor and processor. So it's kind of, it's, I've seen this, designed before so the chip is actually sitting over uh, directly over a, a slot in the board and there's the lens here for the um, for the very bright LED that lights the desk surface. Let's dismount the board. That's the, the lens assembly. Just a little plastic drop-in for redirecting the, the light from the LED, which is mounted on the board there. This is the heart of the design here. So this is the 
236 it says so the 2636 is a system on a chip I found a, a data sheet for a very similar one maybe maybe it's the same I'm not sure but I will link that down below so that you can look at it so this is a CPU and it's also the uh, USB interface and the controller for all of these switches and the um, optical encoder here which is connected to the to the wheel and if you have a look underneath there's also the camera so the camera is actually integrated inside the chip as well so what I'll do I'm going to attach some wires to this and test some of the functions and uh, see how that works show the optical encoder working I've just soldered a couple of wires onto the optical encoder here and I put some LEDs on now you can see if I rotate the wheel downwards I get green then red green red green red so that's going in the downward direction if I go in the other direction I now get red green red green red green so this is the way that it knows the the direction the optical optical encoder can um, vary these outputs in a different order to show you the difference between one direction and another these um, on the chip these are shown as Z1 and Z2 uh, Z1 and Z2 so for some reason they call them Z here um, so basically the two the two pins from the optical encoder go directly into Z1 and Z2 on this chip I've now got the logic analyzer hooked up and what I've done here I've soldered a couple of wires to the D plus and D minus uh, connections on the chip so um, on the data sheet it says pin 9 and pin 10 are D minus and D plus on the USB interface and that seems to be exactly the same on this chip so I'm sure it's the same chip so we'll capture the USB data on the uh, on the logic analyzer So under analyzers I'm going to select USB and I've actually got D minus on channel zero so let me swap that round. Oops. Channel zero. That should be right, so I'll say save. And now the legend has changed on the channels here. So you've got D minus on channel zero. And let's start start capturing. I could twiddle the wheel a bit, see if that makes any difference. And there we are, we've got some data captured now. Here we see some captured data on the D plus and D minus lines so you can see that there's synchronization information the CLC is a, a cyclic redundancy check to guarantee that the, the data is valid 
and down here on the right hand side you can see a decode of all of these packets that have been sent so you can scroll through all of the events here and so presumably address 4 is the is the mouse all these messages are going back and forwards from device 4 on the USB bus and that's what's inside the Poundland one pound digital mouse optical mouse so I'm going to try and uh, reassemble this now so I can maybe put it in my spares box in case we need a cheap mouse at a moment's notice but um, so apart from a few switches and an optical encoder basically everything is done on this single sock here the system on a chip which is the camera the CPU the interface to the computer and all of the processing of the images that it takes with the little integrated camera that it has inside so not much opportunity for hacking inside a modern mouse because it really everything's inside the one chip so i hope you found that interesting uh, if so please give me a thumbs up and as ever thanks for watching